we are gotten some new exciting updates pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. Let's talk. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, it is Wednesday, July 24th, and uh, we have a new roadmap roundup. CIG has given us an update on Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, what we can expect. They've added a few additional cards, which I think is pretty exciting all right so the very first one that they mentioned which is the big one is the rsi zeus cl right so originally they um uh, committed the rsi zeus um es uh for star season alpha 4.0 but now they're adding the cargo variant the zeus mark 2 cl so that is two out of three uh zeus um variants uh, that's already committed to star system alpha 4.0 so that's really exciting um i expected this because the cargo one is actually the easiest one to do and es is already committed i think the es was committed because exploration gameplay is going to be also included in star system alpha 4.0 i think they need to have it in um so i'm curious uh to see how that's gonna play all right so let, moving on um the next thing is acidic caves right so it actually says here implementing the acidic cave archetype coming to both pyro and stanton adorned with luminous pools of water and dramatic stalactites and stalagmites these caves provide a captivating setting for exploration fps missions missing person missions and more i feel like we need more of these types of missions the next one is rock caves they're implementing rock cave archetype coming to both Pyro and Stanton. Illuminated by the bioluminescent mushroom, these caves provide a unique atmosphere for exploration, FPS, and missing person uh, missions and more. So the rock cave archetype is already in, um, in Star Citizen, but it's the old one. So they're going to, going to be updated this. The very first archetype that we've seen that's updated is the sand cave. So um, judging by how that looks, these caves are going to look awesome. All right, up next, it says asteroid bases, which is going to be really exciting. Um, it says here, implementing new asteroid bases scattered across space in asteroid clusters, gas clouds, and other areas of pyro. For exploration type gameplay to mission base locations, these bases include both constrained interiors for potential FPS conflicts, as well as space combat while reaching or fleeing from the location. So some really exciting stuff. It looks like they have some interesting missions associated with these locations. I'm really curious to see how this is going to play out. And last but not least, space stations, contested zones. Okay, so it says here, contested zones are locations feature coming to Pyro space stations introduced fps gameplay with various layout tailored for this purpose these zones will feature a progression system requiring token to unlock different zones giving access to the loot inside collecting all of the tokens will allow a player to open the final door and claim the grand prize this is super exciting what i do hope um is these rewards that we'll be getting from these bases are super unique they're new and not old refreshed uh reskinned helmets and armor sets we, we need something new like we need a lot of new items in the game to loot in stars and alpha 4.0 that's what i expect okay so um in addition to this is new gameplay mechanics is going to be added to the pu so these contested zone locations are going to be um, more for orgs to also engage. I'm sure you can do uh, solo as well if you're good enough, but uh, orgs will be, I, I hope that these will be challenging enough that you, you will need large groups of players to actually uh, accomplish them. Because right now, um, if you look at the bunker missions and some other mission types even distribution center missions it's not too challenging when you have a lot of players in your group so uh, hopefully these missions scale up based on your party uh member list or some other way that they can 
set the difficulty level um, so that uh, it's challenging no matter the size of group you have okay so that's really exciting um it's a good update i think we've had before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one